Hey, Scorpio. Welcome to Scarlet Phoenix Tarot. Or welcome back if you are returning. And if you are, thank you so much. Thank you so much for all your love and support. All of you that keep coming back month after month, I really appreciate you. I appreciate all your likes, comments, subscribes, and shares. It means a lot to me. Um, if you are returning, you'll notice that I've tweaked the format a little bit to save us all a little bit of time. You'll get the same amount of cards, but I'm just going to lay them out a little bit differently to try to save a few minutes, okay? Uh, also, if you're returning or if you're new, I just wanted to let you guys know that I just launched a Patreon page this month where I will be posting extended versions to all my readings. Uh, if you feel led to support me there, it's only a pledge of $3.33 and you get access to all 12 of the extended readings, okay? So uh, if it is your first time here, thank you very much for stopping by. Uh, I really appreciate you. Um, please know that the reading is general. It cannot resonate with everyone. Um, also, my readings are generally love focused, but it can re uh, resonate on any relational level with any person in your life. Okay. Um, also, you'll notice that I use my pendulum to determine the direction of the cards. I don't just take the reversals as they come out. Um, and also if the reading does resonate with you, uh, and you want something a little more personal, you can find my email address in the description box below the video. And you can also find the link to my Patreon page there as well. Okay. So of course, please hit that like button, drop me a comment. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. All right. So let's go ahead and get started with your reading, Scorpio. All right. I have been shuffling your energy in for a good 15 minutes before I started recording. So it's definitely in there. I like to get a little more shuffling done here. Uh, this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of January 2020. I believe we're in 2020. I'm very happy about it. But anybody else? 2019 was a very challenging year for me. So it had ups and downs, you know, ups and downs. So let's do it. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Scorpio, January 2020. I'm doing a spread I call the Lady V after Venus. We'll take a look at how you're feeling about your person this month, how your person sees you right now, how they feel about you in their heart something that happened in the past that led up to the current energy between you and your person, then the current energy between you and your person, the action that they're most likely to make towards you in January, 2020, and get you some advice and take a look at the outcome. Okay. So let's get her done. Scorpio, sun, moon, rising and Venus spirit. Ooh, January, 2020 could be dealing with Leo. Maybe somebody's holding back a little bit this month. Here we go, Scorpio. I'm going to lay out the cards and I'll just let you know what they are, but I'll talk about them in a minute after I find out their direction. Okay. So how you are feeling about your person this month, Scorpio, the four of wands. Nice. That's very nice energy. It's fire energy. All right. Uh, how your person is seeing you this month, the two of swords, air energy, how they feel about you, the page of pentacles earth energy in the past ooh, the six of cups could be dealing with a soulmate right now the current energy between you is the knight of cups water energy their most likely next move death another scorpio are you dealing with another scorpio scorpio all right your advice when dealing with this person the eight of pentacles earth and your outcome the ace of wands there's that one you know i love it <laughs> All right, so the Ace of Wands, I mean, that's a beautiful outcome. Very, very nice. Overall energy, the Two of Wands. So we've got two twos. So somebody maybe needed to make a choice this month, okay? Let's see what direction these should all be in. Actually, since they're all upright to save time, I'm just going to ask. Spirit, should all these cards be upright? 
Very good. So now I can save a couple more minutes and not have to go over every single one. All right. So let's do it, Scorpio. Overall energy is the two of wands. This is the crossroads. Okay. Somebody needs to make a decision, maybe between two people, between two ideas, two paths. Somebody needs to pick a path. Okay. This could also represent distance between you and your person. You could be longing to see this person. Um, and, uh, it's definitely an energy of choice, though, for sure. Okay. Progress, too. Could be progress. It's one. Uh, you got the ace here, and then you have the two here. So that's a little bit of progress you can be making with your person this month. All right. How you feel about them? Maybe you want to lock them down, Scorpio. Uh, the four of wands is definitely in a relationship reading an energy of commitment, a higher level of commitment, whatever stage you are in your relationship, okay, or connection. Uh, this is very passionate energy. It's celebratory energy. It's good, good, good. You definitely have strong feelings for this person. This is, uh, some say, an 11-11 twin flame energy card, okay? So very nice. You obviously feel strongly for this person. They are seeing you as maybe blocking them somehow. Something, some energy you're putting off is like a blocking kind of energy. Uh, or they just know that you are in decision-making mode this month. This is needing to make a very important decision and not feeling like you really have enough information to do it with that blindfold. Also, the moon, you know, represents things that are hidden and unseen to you. The water in this card is very, it's a very emotional decision. Okay, so yeah, they're seeing you as a maybe a little bit, blocking, you know, blocking energy because of that decision-making mode. Maybe you took a step back. How they feel about you, the page of pentacles. Maybe they want to apologize to you for something, or they are hoping that you will apologize to them for something. Maybe they're hoping that you will offer them something. Maybe they're hoping that you'll offer them this higher level of commitment, or they want to offer it to you. For some of you, it could be that they have more of a friend, they friend zoned you a little bit. Okay. For some of you. Okay. In the past, it looks like you guys, I, like I said, this is a soulmate energy, especially it's in the past. So this could be somebody that you know from your past. You could have gone to high school with this person or known them from childhood, or you may, and, or you may have had a past life with this person. This is a soulmate kind of energy and a nostalgic energy, fond memories. Okay. So you may have made some nice, good memories with this person. The current energy between you and your person is the Knight of Cups. So somebody's wanting to offer some kind of emotion. Somebody is ready to ride in and offer something. Okay. It doesn't mean that it's happened already, but it's uh, getting, it, the energy is there in January that it's like right at the door or it actually will happen in January. Okay. But how your person feels about you is death, okay? So this could just mean that they see you as a Scorpio, okay? Or this is actually their most likely next move towards you. I'm sorry, <laughs> forgive me. Um, so this could be, this. I could say, I'm sorry for some of you, it could be that they're actually going to put an end to this connection, okay? We'll get some clarifying cards. That may not be the case, but for some of you, I'm sure that it probably is. This could also mean that they are going through some sort of transition or transformational time, and uh, they may actually transform. We'll have to get some more cards and see. Okay. But for some of you, it could indicate an ending. And this ace may be new, uh, something new coming in for you. Okay. But your advice, Scorpio, is uh, putting in the effort. It's either, for some of you, I think it's, Go ahead and put in the effort. You've got to put the work in. All relationships take work and you cannot be lazy in a relationship or it will not last. You have to put effort in. Okay. So if it's not telling you to have to put the effort in, it may be telling you to distract yourself uh, with your work. Okay. We'll get some more cards and figure that out. Okay. In the outcome, like I said, for some of you, this could be new, something new coming in, a new spark, a new passionate person coming into your life and uh, stirring up all those, uh, you know, feelings, butterflies and such. Okay. Or it could be a brand new beginning with your person. Maybe your person is transformed, transforming, and you have a new beginning. Okay. Because see, I, for most of you, I don't feel like this is an ending. But it could be because if this person is friend zoning you, then it could be an end to the romantic part of your connection or your dream of a romantic connection with this person. Okay, for some of you, that could be it. But uh, like I said, this also could be an apology um, and this could be transformation. Let's get some more cards. All right. 
Let's figure this out, Scorp. All right, so let's see. Spirit, please clarify these cards two by two for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for January of 2020. Two by two. And then two cards at the bottom of the deck to clarify that overall energy, please. Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and Scorpio. All right, here we go. I'm going to lay them out, and then we'll go over them, all right? Clarifying your feelings, the Magician and the Queen of Cups, currently in reverse. Clarifying how you see your person, the Six of Cups, or how your person sees you, I'm sorry, and the Six of Pentacles. How your person feels about you, the Knight from the Page to the Knight of Pentacles, and the Two of Swords. In the past, the Queen of Swords in the reverse, and the Hierophant. Could be dealing with a Taurus. Currently, the energy between you. This came out in the pre-shuffle earlier. With a fortune, currently in reverse. And the King of Wands, currently in reverse. And the most likely move your person is going to make towards you this month. The Five of Wands, currently in reverse. And the Five of Pentacles. Wow. We have two sixes, two fives. Interesting. Okay. Your advice, the Two of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles. And your outcome. There we go. The Four of Wands. That's how you feel about them. And the Six of Swords. Currently in reverse. Overall energy is the Seven of Swords. Okay. Oh, wait. And one behind that as well. The Ace of Swords. Okay. So let's put those there and figure out the direction. All right. Spirit, upright or reversed. The Seven of Swords, please. The Ace of Swords, the Magician, the Queen of Cups, the Six of Cups, the Six of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, the Two of Swords, the Queen of Swords, the Hierophant. The Wheel of Fortune, the King of Wands, the Five of Wands, the Five of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles. the Queen of Wands, the Four of Wands, and the Six of Swords. All right. Thank you so much, Spirit. Appreciate you. All right. Let me just have a minute to situate these, please. All right. Those are... All right, Scorpio. So clarifying that two of swords is your overall energy. We have the seven of swords. There could be a little bit of sneaky behavior going on behind the scenes, or somebody could, could just be strategically planning uh, something regarding this connection out. Uh, could be somebody running away, trying to sneak away, or there could be some outright deception. 
Okay, but it looks like the truth will probably come out if there is a deception because you have the Ace of Swords right behind that. And actually, you have the Ace of Pentacles right behind that. Very nice. All right, so that's good overall energy, except for that deception. But it doesn't have to be deception. So for some of you, I'm sure it probably is. But how you feel about your person, you want it to work out. You feel like you guys have what it takes. You're trying to manifest this, okay? You may uh, be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, with this Queen of Cups. You're trying to manifest this. You might be in your feels this month. Okay, but you definitely want something committed with this person and you're trying to manifest it. Okay. How they see you, they see you as a soulmate, Scorpio. They definitely are onto that or they just definitely see you as, you know, they have really fond memories from the past with you. Okay. They want an equal give and take with you. They want to restore balance if the balance has been lost from this connection. And they see you as having a decision to make. Okay, or maybe they have a decision to make and they see you and they think they need to decide. Could be. All right. Uh, how they feel about you. Yeah, again, maybe they are the one that has the decision to make. Okay, they might be the one that is a little bit blocking uh, and feeling like, you know, they're at a stalemate. They may feel like you might be at a stalemate with this person. Okay, but they really want to reach out. They want to communicate. They want you to communicate. OK, you know, you know what happened in your particular story. If you know that it's you that really needs to communicate and this person probably wants that, then then that's what it is. Or it might be them wanting to communicate with you. You may need to apologize and they're hoping that you will or they want to apologize. But they are they're waiting. I, I think that they feel that you're taking a very long time. OK, and it's probably putting them in a, in a position where they feel like they have to make a decision. Okay, but they're waiting for something, Scorpio, something to do with you. Okay, I think they do want you to offer this pinnacle They're They've been waiting for a while, I think. All right. In the past. Like I said, you guys have some fond memories. Okay, you may have been in a committed relationship with this person or actually been married to them and then they cut you out. Okay, there could have been absolutely a cutting, okay, after and the, and they they're having nostalgia about the time that you did spend with each other. Could have been a long time ago. Could have been, you know, last month, but I feel like you were in some kind of commitment with this person at some point and something happened. Maybe another soulmate came in and got in the way. Maybe this maybe there was an air sign that got in the way or a Taurus that came between you. But I feel that for most of you, you were, or religion, so your, your religious, uh, something to do with your religions could have gotten in the way also. Uh, somebody could have been a little bit, uh, you know, too rigid about something. And uh, very this is very traditional values, okay? Um, but I do feel like somebody got cut. I, th I feel like somebody had to cut. This Queen of Swords has been through a lot. And she's just not going to put up with any BS. And I feel like that's probably what happened. Okay. So your current energy is looking good, actually. It looks like the divine forces are smiling down upon you. Okay. Uh, however, it's also this indicates change. And uh, it's kind of like chance, you know, uh, take your ride on the wheel, you know, spin the wheel and take your, uh, you know, take your turn. Uh, and maybe there is a decision between two people. It could be right now, actually. Could be between a water sign and a fire sign. Um, or it could be that somebody is finally getting enough courage and confidence to come forward and offer this cup. Okay. Perhaps there's something in the transits. I know Marge, Mars is in Sagittarius now. Um, and, you know, this is a fire sign here. So this could be Mars in Sagittarius giving this person, you know, the courage to come forward or giving you the courage to come forward and speak your heart. Okay. And it looks like your person definitely, I think this is more transformational. I don't see this as an ending for most of you because they definitely want something offered here and they want to end the conflict. Okay. So whatever it is, they, you guys have been in, somebody's in the freezer. One or both of you are in each other's freezer. I feel like you probably are both of you. There's definitely some kind of conflict. This could actually indicate competition also. Okay. Okay. So there's been struggles, competition, strife, feeling rejected. Maybe somebody was rejected in the past. Okay. But they want to end that. 
Okay, Scorpio, they, they want to transform the situation this month. They want to resolve this conflict, come out of the freezer, or let you out of the freezer. Okay, so I do feel like for most of you, they are going to do something. All right, now your advice is to put the effort in, okay? For, some, for the, those of you that it is an ending, I don't really feel that for most of you, but for a small percentage of you, there could be an ending with this death card and, you know, some of this shady behavior that could be going on. And also there is a, a few twos here that could indi indicate a choice between two people. There is some evidence here of a possible third party situation. Okay. So if that's the case, then you're being, you know, advised to just, you know, focus on your work and, uh, you know, keep yourself busy, focus on yourself, you know, nurture yourself. Okay. If that's the position you're in, but for most of you, this is make the effort, put the effort in. Okay. And, uh, could be, this is a, a balancing act, you know, get, maintain your balance. Okay. It's not an energy that can be sustained for very long. You'll be pretty busy. Okay. With this energy, but it is, you know, the guy is doing a pretty good job of keeping his balance. So it could be just, you know, trying to keep the balance, uh, this month and, uh, put the effort in nurture this connection with this queen of pentacles. Okay. Nurture that connection. Could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Your outcome, Scorpio, looks pretty good. Let me tell you, if it's new love, that's great. And it will be in a commitment soon. But I don't feel for most of you that it is. I feel that this is your person. Okay, I feel like you're going to have a fresh new start with this person, a passionate fresh new start with these two wands cards. I feel like you're going to be elevating uh, to a higher level of commitment and that you're going to be able to finally put these choppy waters that you've been in with this person behind you and sail on into smoother waters. Okay. So that is your reading Scorpio. I hope it resonated with you. If it did, and you want to take a look at a little bit more about how this person feels about you, what their most likely next move is also get you some more advice and look at the outcome a little more. I'm also giving a little, a few Oracle cards in the, uh, extended you can find that link to my Patreon page in the description box below the video. And uh, if this is where we part ways, then thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate you. And uh, I will see you in February or talk to you in February. <laughs> Thanks. Bye.